more about them tomorrow during our celebration. Now I have to tell you guys about the, the Wizard 101 drama. I promised you guys Wizard 101 drama, right? So as you guys know, I'm an avid player of Wizard 101, okay? And there's been there's been some recent drama that has popped off in the past few days. Uh, so Wizard 101, right? It has it has it it had this community manager. His name is Kyle Icewielder. And I will pull up, I, I I saved some images to show you guys. So this is like Kyle's profile picture. He was a community manager and a developer for King's Isle, right? Like this is him. Now, um, Kyle looks like James Charles. Kyle looks exactly like James Charles, but somehow I think he looks almost more gay than James Charles. So, you know, <laughs> he looks like James Charles, but uh, Kyle has been in charge of the Wizard 101 TikTok account, right? And all of the community events and uh, basically all of King's Isle and Wizard 101's social media, right? He's been in charge of that. There's somebody else who's in charge of the stuff for Pirate 101, but Kyle handled Wizard 101. He handled like community events that went on in the game and stuff like that. And like, it, generally it was okay, but he made literally, no, he made literally some of the worst fucking TikToks I've ever seen in my entire life. Let me show you guys. I have shown these on stream before. I'll show you guys a few that I really, really, really dislike. I'm not gonna show you like, what the fuck? I'm not gonna show you guys like a million TikToks like I normally do when I go through my Wizard 101 TikToks rant, but they're bad. All right. So Wizard 101 has a TikTok account, right? They have a TikTok account. So if we come to the official, like Wizard 101 TikTok account, um, some of the TikToks that Kyle has made that make me absolutely want to scratch my eyes out, right? Stuff like this. Oh, I haven't muted. This is my best friend. We've oh, why can't you see it? What the heck? Ah, here it is. Okay. Okay. You guys should be able to hear it now. This is my best friend. We've been through so much together. Woke up last night because I heard it was raining. It brings me so much joy. And this, I always replay this because it pisses me off. This just pisses me off. You know, like, they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. They're bad. They're really, 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 really bad, right? And they make me, they make me what upset. What's your favorite funny Wizard 101 moment? Mine would have to be when I go on a quest for Cyrus Drake to do his laundry, and oh then he tries God, to expel us corn. within the same day. And Kyle was responsible for these. Kyle was responsible for these. Okay, this tattoo is actually kind of. I, I, I would probably get this tattoo. But Kyle made a good majority of the early ones, and they infuriate me. I will say to this day, to this day, right? The only good piece of advertising that Wizard101 has done on TikTok is this. And Kyle did not have anything to do with this. This shit made me cry like a baby. Like, this is really cute. That's cute, right? Why is that shit still make me want to cry, man? No. It's cute as hell. I got... <laughs> I'm crying a little bit. But anyways, Kyle had nothing to do with it. Why am I pissed about it? The entire reason why I think that this pisses me off so much, right? Is because Wizard 101 is a game that I've been playing for 15 years. 15 years, right? I've been playing since, since, since the game fucking launched, okay? I've been playing this game for a really long time. And I have played a lot of other MMOs that I've watched die over time because people kind of forget about them because they don't know how to advertise. And like, nobody even knows that the game fucking exists anymore. And I'm starting to see that happen with Wizard 101, where I will play Wizard 101 and somebody will come into the chat and go, I didn't even know this game was still around. And I'm like, yes, it is still around and it's still getting updated and you should play it because it's fun. And I feel like TikToks like that just they, 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 they hurt the growth of the game and it makes me really upset because i care about this game a lot so that's why i get pissed off when they hire shitty social media managers like fucking kyle ice wielder right now for the drama <laughs> so i follow quite a lot of uh wizard 101 accounts right i follow quite a lot of wizard 101 accounts now i noticed today 
that one of the like Wizard 101 leaks accounts that I followed tweeted this and said recent development in the official Wizard 101 Discord Kyle Icewielder's admin and King Zio roles have been removed. <gasps> Gasp. Shock. He no longer has staff roles. Gasp. Shock. While there's no statement, we will continue to update you if slash as things develop. So here he is without any of his fancy King Zio roles. They're all gone. So I was like, that's weird. I don't think I've heard of him like doing anything that would have led to that, right? And then I remembered. And then I remembered. So basically it was Decathlon. So Decathlon is it's a competitive game mode right where essentially uh you you have to build like a deck for another school so you can't use like any of your own uh spells you can only use treasure cards there's like a set amount of them that they can use uh yeah so you that's it you have like a set amount of stuff that you can use right so you can't uh you can't play it with friends you can't do any potions elixirs henchmen uh and any of the stat boosts from your normal gear is gone as well. So you can't use your pets. You can't use any spells, yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? I will say there is a, there is a ring, right? There is a ring uh, on in the game Wizard 101 that is used by the developers when they're testing things. Okay, so this is a developer only ring that they that they use when they're testing stuff. This ring is called the one ring. Basically, it maxes every single one of your stats, right? It also allows you to use power pips with spells that are not from your school. Power pips, basically, they count, for anybody who doesn't know, they count as two uh, pips. Pips are the things that you use to cast spells. So let's say if there's a spell that costs four pips to cast, if you have two power pips that means that you can cast that spell in only two rounds whereas a normal person would have to wait four full rounds right now there was a massive controversy because there was a normal player who was caught doing decathlon and topping the ranking boards and uh, what did he have equipped the one ring which is a tool that only developers have access to right a lot of people were very pissed they were calling it out yada 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 guess who pipes up his little mouth guess who pipes up his little mouth to defend the use of the one ring in the decathlon event fucking kyle ice wielder people were pissed people were so fucking mad he's defending it so hard people are so fucking mad they're like well if they have it then they can use all the tools available to them he's defending it. he's defending it so now everybody's like well this is a developer only ring and kyle is a developer and this other player isn't so how did this person get this ring right they're friends they're friends exactly that kind of behavior would ruin the game for you if you were a normal player and now there's a lot of people that are like yeah kyle's always been fucking weird like thank fucking god because i don't think anybody has ever really like liked him liked him because originally he was just like kind of like a mid-tier wizard 101 youtube content creator and then he became a developer for the game and started working with their social media and stuff and like that's all cool like living the dream fuck yeah kyle that that was like my childhood dream like good on you but what the fuck kyle what the fuck, Kyle? Why does your friend have the one ring, Kyle? Huh? But, so now people are speculating that Kyle might have been fired from King's Isle because of this. And I, for one, will celebrate for less shitty TikToks coming from Wizard101, if that is the case.